Hi, welcome to the vlog. It's been a while since I've done the last one. And uh, we're on to landscapes today. I haven't done any aviation photography a while either. So uh, yeah, we're on to landscapes. And today I'm uh, in a field near Rockingham. And uh, I was walking the uh, dog here uh, a while back and I spotted this uh, old gnarly fallen dead tree and thought that it might have potential. So although it's in the middle of the day and uh, contrast is gonna be sky high, I thought I'll come and give it a go. It's probably gonna be best shot in black and white, I would think, uh, just to get uh, try and get an extra bit of drama into the photograph and uh, we'll see what we can do. It's a little bit challenging. It's quite a lot of background uh, that I've got to be aware of. And also there's some overhead power lines as well. So I need to get under those to try and uh, get them, uh, avoid shooting them, getting them in the photograph. But it's quite, uh, quite an interesting tree. And uh, I've already scouted out my location. I think I've got the right place. So uh, let's see what we get. I'm also a little bit restricted with this location because of uh, access to where I can go. But also there are some power lines uh, just overhead the camera, uh, which you might be able to see just here. And uh, so I've got to be careful exactly where I shoot. Um, so uh, as it stands, I've uh, chosen to shoot at around uh, 40, 45 millimeters. And uh, that enables me to get a good background and uh, clear of the overhead lines above the camera. All right, so I'm shooting uh, now at um, f11, an 80th of a second. And uh, because it's the middle of the day, it's quite bright, obviously, the sun's out. Um, it's not my preferred time of day to shoot, but uh, nonetheless, I've uh, needed to use a three-stop ND grad filter uh, to hold back the exposure in the sky. I chose a composition which uses the rule of thirds which to me works particularly well for this shot because the dead tree, the background trees and the slope of the land all seem to balance each other quite nicely. In an ideal world I would prefer to shoot this location on a misty morning so that the trees in the background are muted allowing for greater separation of the subject matter. On this occasion I waited for the clouds to pass by into the best position for my composition and for a patch of direct sunlight to highlight the fallen tree. Thank you for watching and I'll leave you with my final image.